Hey everybody, my name is Asmara and welcome back to the channel. So this is part two to this two-part saga discussing the best Sims 3 expansion packs for story-driven gameplay. In this video, we're going to be talking about Showtime, Seasons, University Life, and Island Paradise. For each of the packs, I'll be doing an overview, a review, and giving you some gameplay tips. But if you want to hear me talk about the first five Sims 3 expansion packs, go ahead and watch the previous video. So I'll link it in a card up above as well as in the description down below. But before we get into this video, let's go ahead and briefly recap what happened in last video. But I want to make this video a little bit more interesting, so I'm going to take you guys through a day in my life while talking about these expansions. So I'm going to be rating each of these packs um, by realism, and I'm also going to be rating based on playability. The simple fact that this pack just came with so much kind of compensates for that. This is one of the best expansion packs, if I do say so myself, so I would really recommend that mod because the bars and clubs do not look like what they do in the trailers. <laughs> I haven't been to a nail salon in a long time and I want to do something about these. So I will do this as I'm talking about the next expansion pack. All right, it's kind of later now. Um, I've been watching Good Luck Charlie on Disney Plus. Great throwback. I've also recently been binge watching Sister Sister on Netflix. But I'm almost done with that, so I decided to take a break. <laughs> so I still have more episodes. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if anybody cares, but the nail polish I use, this base coat is called Irene from Static Nails. Um, and then I'm about to top it off with this shimmery color. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's E-G-U-A-E -E by Triple O Polish. Triple O Polish is actually a black owned business, so buy black. And then I have the top coat from Triple O as well. So. There's that information. The Sims 3 Showtime. <laughs> so Showtime is low key like what I like to call the greatest showman pack or like a low key circus pack. The idea of Showtime is basically to be a talent based expansion set in a Hollywood-esque environment. Showtime comes with a new town called Starlight Shores, which is essentially the Sims version of Hollywood. An idea is to work your way up to superstardom in three new professions. There's a singer career, an acrobat and a magician. I'm not gonna lie, those three careers seemed kind of interesting. They're not bad careers, but I'm just kind of interested in how they all really go together <laughs> in one pack, you know? The new skills that come with the expansion are basically hidden skills. So of course you have your hidden skills sort of in magician -ing and in singing. Um, and there's also a new skill of DJing. The majority of the pack's content is basically done sort of through the careers. Genies also came with The Sims 3 Showtime. So that's like the alternate life state. So this is another pack which is not a bad pack. It's not that I don't like this pack. Um, I just again feel like it's a little bit incomplete and I feel like it could have done a little bit more to kind of be usable to day to day gameplay. Again, I do use the features in this pack. Like I've used the singer career a couple of times. I actually really like that career. Um, acrobat, magician. I think I've pretty much only used those careers when actually, you know, playing with Showtime. The town of Starlight Shores is actually a lot of fun. There's a lot of drama. Again, it's like a very Hollywood-esque uh, town. Starlight Shores low-key feels like it could be a suburb of late night. So if that, helps you, I guess, understand the vibe any better. Yeah, so like I said earlier, I wish the pack kind of expanded on the theme or had a more concrete theme, because I feel like it's a little bit all over the place, you know? It's like talent-based, but there's also like a super stardom aspect. Are you a talent-based pack? If so, then they should have given us more skills and I feel like different types of talents um, versus are you a superstar pack? Because in that case, they should have given us more pop star type content, more celebrity type content, if that's the vibe they were going for. To me, it was like somewhere in between and it was kind of odd. That's why I said earlier, it's kind of like a greatest showman pack because it's giving me like low key, like talent show circus-ish vibes. Like why, why are there acrobats and magicians? and singers, you know? So it's almost like pick or choose. And I honestly wouldn't mind if either or, I just 
feel like the pack should have just chosen a side. So if there was a way where maybe Sims that maybe just had other careers but just wanted to have more talents, I wish Showtime could have been maybe a career to like expand on that. It would have been cool to have like maybe a musical theater aspect, maybe other types of talents like dancing. This pack does go really well with Late Night. So if you want to play with these two packs together, you kind of get that same superstardom vibe with the celebrity system from Late Night combining with the careers and vibe of Showtime. And this is also the pack that had like the Katy Perry add-on. You know, Ian was trying to get their coin. <laughs> so for realism, I don't really think this pack is super realistic to daily gameplay. Um, again, I use aspects of Showtime in my game and I like certain features that have come with Showtime. I like the idea of SimFest. I wish that was more fleshed out and there were more talents so it can feel more like a talent show. I wish there's more stuff that other life stages could do. So maybe if like teens or kids could have talent shows, I think that'd be cool. There might actually be mods for this. Um, if there are, I'll, you know, look them up. I'll link some down below or I'll put some edit in the video. Um, but yeah, I just wish the pack itself would have just expanded on that more and kind of chosen a side, whether they're trying to be celebrity Hollywood or they're just trying to be like talent based because I feel like they're somewhere in the middle and we got this. So I think I would give this pack a three. So these are the finished nails. I feel like having the sparkles kind of takes away from how badly my base coat is. And I'm gonna continue watching Good Luck Charlie. The next day. Fun fact, today is the next day, but the video continues. So Supernatural is the seventh expansion pack for The Sims 3, but like I said in the intro, I don't have this pack. So on to the next one. <laughs> Seasons is the eighth expansion pack to The Sims 3. And this one, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to play with seasons. So you have four seasons, fall, spring, summer, and winter. Your sim game starts out with summer and it just goes through them chronologically, I guess. Is that how seasons work? Se sequentially, right? Yeah. You can also adjust how long each season lasts for. The default is seven sim days, but you can adjust it depending on what town you're playing in or if you just wanna play with select seasons, which I do think is cool. You can kind of adjust it to whatever your storyline is, whatever the setting is. There is no new town that comes with seasons, but the main thing that comes with the seasons expansion are the festivals and activities revolving around each four of the seasonal holidays. So for summer, the holiday is the leisure day. The game adds water balloon fights, heat waves, rain, fireworks, you can swim in the ocean. There are tanning booths and your sim can actually tan by laying out on the sand. Oh, did you hear them? Bars though. <laughs> this is all sort of just water and hot weather activities. Fall, this holiday is spooky day, the not Halloween holiday. So you can trick or treat, you can throw costume parties. The addition of leaves comes with the season's expansion pack. So your sims can rake leaves, they can play in the leaves, they can woohoo in the pile of leaves. Your sims can bob for apples at the fall festival. They can go pumpkin picking and they can carve their own pumpkins, which is a really fun sort of family activity. I like to have my sims do. The next season is winter and the holiday for that season is snowflake day. So there's the addition of snow with the winter season and it's really cool because it builds up over time and you can watch the gradual buildup of snow in your game, which is really pretty and serene and laggy. I'm not gonna lie. So <laughs> Keep that in mind if you have a slower computer or if that, you know, that might affect your gameplay. But again, you can disable winter if you want to. Completely up to you, it's all in settings. Um, there's snowboarding, you can build snowmen, your sims can make snow angels, they can build igloos, they can have snowball fights, they can ice skate, you can put up holiday house lights, which is fun. Um, and you can also throw gift giving parties. And last but not least, we have Love Day. So that's in the spring season. Um, there are spring dances, um, rain is in the game as well. It also rains during summer a lot. Um, there, the rain also creates puddles. They build up in a puddle so your sims can play in puddles. Um, there are umbrellas. Your sims can actually get sick if you don't have them wear their proper outerwear when it's cold outside or when it's raining. Spring also has roller skating, which is a fun activity as well. So the, I just went through a whole ton of new features, but Seasons really adds just a ton of new things for Sims of all ages to do in the four seasons. So my thoughts on this, 
As for realism, of course, this is a super realistic expansion pack. Um, this is one of those things where you can play in any of your gameplay and it's only going to add to what you can do. It's not going to take away or take you apart um, from the natural life simulation experience. I use the features and the festivals in every single one of my gameplay. Um, I don't really get bored of it. Again, you can kind of work this expansion to however you like to play your game. Um, it only adds, it doesn't really take away. And you can completely choose whether or not you want to partake in the Seasons aspects. Seasons is a great expansion pack, so I would give it five stars. You definitely need this pack. All right, so what I'm actually doing right now is I need to go print out a return label. I've had a package like forever um, <laughs> and I've been needing to return it. So today we're gonna do that. Mexican food, we got fajitas. We are about to grub. Welcome to my backyard. You're on a trash can right now. The sun is also setting, which is why the lighting is ugly. I, I'm really trying to keep up the quality of this video, but the lighting just keeps getting worse throughout this video. Anyways, University Life. So University Life is the ninth expansion pack for The Sims 3, and just like the title suggests, it allows you to play with university and send your Sims to Sims University. So that's like the additional town that comes with this pack. It functions a lot like the World Adventures expansion where you send your Sims off to a world. That world is its own experience. There are six degrees that come with university life. There is business, communications, fine arts, physical education, science and medicine, and technology. And by completing a degree, you start your career with a more advanced, okay. Fancy dude with the fancy car. That's actually my neighbor, fun fact. <laughs> but by completing a university degree, you actually start your career in a more advanced level. So if you graduate with like an A, I think you start your career at level four. If you get a B, you start at level three, a C, level two, which is cool. So it kind of gives you an advantage to actually play with university life features. Another thing that is a benefit to getting a university degree is that your Sims get permanent like pay bonuses to each level of their career. The skills that come with this pack you get the science skill, you get street art, social networking, and photography. So if you don't have world adventures, you can also get photography with this expansion. With university life, there's also new unlockable jobs for people who max out each of the social groups. Social groups are another big thing that came with university life. So you can be a rebel, you can be a jock, or you can be a nerd. Um, and the unlockable careers is you can be a sports agent when you max out the jock social group. You can become a game developer when you max out the nerds and you and you be them and you can become an art appraiser when you max out the rebels plant sims is the occult life state that comes with university life and other little things that come with university in addition to like the um degrees and like the social groups you also get stuff like streaking and Murphy beds, which are those fold-up beds. And there's all sorts of other little things like random fun activities that are very college-esque. Okay, we get in darker and darker the longer this goes on. I don't have any interesting services to lay y'all on, and I apologize that it is very dark out here. I know people probably don't care, but I just like when videos look nice. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts on the University Life Pack. So I really enjoy this expansion. It's a lot of fun. Clearly it adds a whole ton of new things for your Sims to experience. The whole Sims University thing is an entire new thing, you know, to experience on its own. However, that's also a bit of the con for me. Um, even though this expansion is great, I would definitely recommend it if university is something that you want. I also don't play with university life, like the university experience in all of my gameplay, if that makes sense. For someone who's very story driven, of course, if university kind of fits into my Sims uh, storyline and like I feel like I want to send them to university, of course I'm going to do it. But I'm not 
using university in like the majority of my gameplay. And again, like I said earlier, that doesn't make it a bad pack or that I don't enjoy it. I just kind of wish it had a little bit more flexibility in the way university is done. However, I also kind of wish they would have added some sort of like community college aspect. There are mods for this, um, I will say. Um, but I wish it kind of came with the pack um, itself because I think I would even use that that sort of community college aspect even more where maybe your sims could stay in their hometown and even be like a part-time student. I like also playing with families. So if the kid, you know, ages up, but maybe I don't want to abandon all my other sims, you know, by going to Sims University and playing, you know, an entire semester just with the, the young adult sims. I would love to still be able to play with the other members of the household while also kind of having my sims go through university. I don't know, this may just be my play style, but I wish it was just a little bit more flexible in the ways you could incorporate university into your sims life. Again, that's not to say this pack is bad. For what it does, I think it does it extremely well. So I think I'm gonna give it university a four star rating. Wonderful pack, comes with a lot of things. Um, the university experience is also completely optional, which I like. It's not taking anything away from your sims experience. So yeah, those are my thoughts. <laughs> And we going back inside because it is dark. All right, so these are all of my Sims 3 expansion packs. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of a video section. I'm gonna set up to do the B-roll, which you've already been seeing throughout this video. And I'm gonna also take the thumbnail. So I honestly kind of miss having like physical copies of games. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of sad like when The Sims 4 stopped doing the physical copies of their expansions. All right, so the 10th and last expansion pack that we'll be talking about in this video, Island Paradise. So Island Paradise gives you an aquatic themed vacation experience. The town that Island Paradise comes with is Isla Paradiso, which is Spanish for Island Paradise. It's a really cool world. So they have some like villa, sort of Spanish themed houses which is a cool vibe. And they also have some pretty modern houseboats. So the skills that come with Island Paradise are snorkeling slash scuba diving. They both go towards the same skill. You have snorkeling, playing in the sand, laying out on the beach with the beach towel. Um, you can also play music or read a book while you're on your beach towel. You also have windsurfing and water slides. This pack comes with boating of all sorts. There are jet skis, paddle boats, sailboats, speed boats, boat taxis, houseboats, which is a big theme of Island Paradise and a big reason it's very laggy. <laughs> I'm sure if you've been in the community, you've probably heard about the Sims 3 Island Paradise lag. <laughs> As for the new real estate options, Island Paradise allows you to open up your own resort and you can also stay at like pre-made resorts or just if you wanna download some resort lots. Um, of your own, you can do that as well. Basically, it kind of functions as a hotel. Your Sims stay there temporarily and you'll just hang out and chill and just do island paradise things. When you play in the Isla Paradiso world, you also have unlockable islands. There's some sort of collectible process you have to do, but that is an option with this pack. Other little things that this pack added is the Kraken for one, which I'm pretty sure that item, object, creature, I don't know. I think the Kraken is just um, exclusive to the Isla Paradiso world, but don't quote me on that. So <laughs> you also have the lifeguard career, and also poolside bars is a pretty cool addition with The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Oh, did I mention mermaids? Mermaids are the occult of this expansion. So my thoughts on Island Paradise, I think this pack is a lot of fun. Um, I'm obviously, well, I'm not really playing Island Sims all the time. Again, I like to diversify my gameplay. I have had my Sims vacation to the Island Paradise world um, using the Traveler mod. How I play with Island Paradise in my daily gameplay 
Um, I love like the water activities, the pool slides. I love all the new interactions that your Sims can do on the beach. I use those all the time when my Sims go to the beach in any town um, or if they throw, you know, a beach party um, or pool parties. I think the poolside bars are a really cool feature. I think it pairs perfectly also with seasons. It kind of enhances the summer season experience. Um, and there's all sorts of other features that I didn't talk about, you know, in this video. The resort building feature is really cool. I really like that. I used that resort building feature in one of my households when my where my sim was a businessman. So I wasn't necessarily playing with Island Paradise, but I like how that entrepreneurial aspect of the pack played into just a random household that I had. I think I'm gonna rate Island Paradise a four star for right now. There are issues of how it runs with like um, lag. I know a lot of people gripe about the lag, the Island Paradise lag. I'm gonna be honest, I've never had like a gaming PC or a really good computer. So my game always lags. So I really don't know the difference between Island Paradise lagging and my normal computer lagging. <laughs> Um, I really like the boating features, like the minor features. I like having my sims go on boat rides. I've had sims have like father-son fishing trips, which I think are fun. Um, again, I'm not paying with islands all the time. I'm not playing with Island Paradise all the time, but it's a fun game, it's a fun pack, and I recommend. So I think for right now, I'm gonna give it four stars. So this is my makeshift photo backdrop. Um, it usually goes on a stand, but I just don't feel like putting up the stand right now. Um, and I just need for the most part, like aerial shots like this. For the thumbnail, I'm trying to make it a little bit different. So I'm going to have to rearrange this a little bit. But for the initial overshots of the expansion packs, I think it'll be pretty simple to do set up like this. Let's go ahead and shoot that. This is really videoception right here. And I just finished shooting the b-roll and yeah I'm about to record the outro and probably re-record the intro and I thought about attempting to put on these false lashes I just want to I've only worn these once and I don't really know how to apply them so we're gonna figure that out <laughs> the 11th and final expansion pack of the sims 3 is into the future but again I don't have that pack so we ain't gonna be talking about that so that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun filming it and I hope it comes across in the editing. What is your favorite expansion pack for The Sims 3? Let me know in a comment down below. And this is my new channel for those of you who don't know. On this channel, I'm gonna be talking about gaming, tech, and nerd culture through commentary, storytelling, conversation, and hopefully in the future, some gameplay. So if you're new here and this sounds like a good time to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you along this journey. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!